잘 지냈나요? 우리 친구들 안본 사이에 키는 얼마나 컸는지 매일매일 건강히 잘 지내고 있는지 힘든 일은 없는지 선생님이 많이 궁금합니다. 하지만 우리 친구들의 삶을 하나하나 알고 계시는 하나님께서 우리 친구들을 보호하시고 함께 하실 줄 믿고 선생님은 그저 매일 기도합니다. 오늘 또 하나님 앞에 예배드리기 위해 모인 우리 친구들 주님의 이름으로 사랑하고 환영해요. 선생님이랑 같이 기도하고 우리 오늘도 신나게 하나님께 찬양 드리고 예배 드렸으면 좋겠습니다. 집에서 의자에 앉아 모니터만 바라보며 드리는 예배가 쉽지만은 않아요. 선생님도 너무 잘 알아요. 하지만 우리 친구들 정말 마음을 다해서 하나님께 예배하는 이 시간 되기를 간절히 소망합니다. 선생님이랑 기도하고 우리 예배 시작할게요. 다같이 두손 모으고 눈 감고 기도하겠습니다. 사랑해 하나님 감사드립니다. 오늘도 우리 친구들 함께 해주셔서 이렇게 예배 자리에 불러주시고 함께 예배 드리게 하시니 감사드립니다. 하나님 코로나 바이러스로 인해서 저희들 함께 모여 예배 드린 지 너무 오랜 시간이 지났습니다. 어, 저희들 간절히 기도하기는 이 어려운 시간 저희들 잘 이겨내서 정말 언젠간 하나님 앞에 함께 모여 큰 소리로 찬양하며 예배드리는 시간이 오길 간절히 소망합니다. 하나님 어, 이 시간들 함께 이겨낼 수 있는 힘을 주시고 우리 친구들 매일매일 하나님 더욱더 깊이 묵상하며 알고 기억하고 기도하며 나아가는 시간들 되게 축복하여 주시옵소서 오늘 저희들 함께 모여 예배드리진 못하지만 각자 있는 곳에서 예배 드릴 때 하나님 우리 친구들 찾아가 만나 주시고 저희들의 예배 기쁘게 받아 주시옵소서 감사드리며 예수님의 이름으로 기도합니다. 아멘 자 오늘 또 찬양할 준비 됐나요? 의자에만 앉아있지 말고 우리 함께 신나게 일어나서 찬양했으면 좋겠습니다. 자 찬양 시작할게요. 
reason All my dreams come alive Life is for living With you I've made my decision hey! You lift me up Fill my eyes with wonder Forever young in your love This freedom's untainted With you No moment is wasted Come on, you know what to do, let's go! See the sun now Bursting through the clouds Black and white Turns the color all around All is new In a savior I have found This is living
welcome to Youngna Kids Worship Time. Let's start the worship with a prayer. Our friend Monica will pray for us. Let's pray. Dear Lord, thank you for this day. Please help us to learn new things through this scripture and act upon what we read, not just read it. Even though we are doing online church, please help us to maintain our bonds with you and keep believing. And in Jesus' name we pray, amen. Thank you, Monica, for the prayer. Today's sermon title is Jesus Showed His Glory. The sermon comes from the books of Matthew, Mark, and Luke. Where are the books of Matthew, Mark, and Luke? Are they in the Old Testament or in the New Testament? Yes, they are in the New Testament. Matthew, Mark, and Luke are the first three books of the New Testament. Let's go to the book of Luke, chapter 9, verses 28 through 36. I will read for us. Now, about eight days after these sayings, he took with him Peter and John and James and went up on the mountain to pray. And as he was praying, the appearance of his face was altered, and his clothing became dazzling white. And behold, two men were talking with him. Moses and Elijah, who appeared in glory and spoke of his departure, which he was about to accomplish at Jerusalem. Now Peter and those who were with him were heavy with sleep. But when they became fully awake, they saw his glory and the two men who stood with him. And as the men were parting from him, Peter said to Jesus, Master, it is good that we are here. Let us make three tents, one for you, and one for Moses, and one for Elijah, not knowing what he said. As he was saying these things, a cloud came and overshadowed them, and they were afraid as they entered the cloud. And a voice came out of the cloud, saying, This is my son, my chosen one, listen to him. And when the voice had spoken, Jesus was found alone, and they kept silent and told no one in those days anything of what they had seen. Let's start off with big picture question. Why did Jesus perform miracles? Jesus performed miracles to glorify God, to show He is the Son of God, and to care for people. What is a miracle? A miracle is something done by God's power that would normally be impossible. When Jesus did impossible things, it proved that he has power over creation. It demonstrated that he is God, the Son. He also used miracles to meet people's need for food, healing, and safety. We learned that Jesus calmed the storm to show the disciples he is God. He protected his disciples from sinking and showed his power. We also talked about the time Jesus miraculously fed a crowd with five loaves and two fish. Again, Jesus was showing compassion on the hungry people, proving that he is God. When another storm put the disciples in danger, Jesus showed he is God by walking on water. They all worshipped him and glorified God after that. This week, we will look at the Bible scripture about Jesus showing his glory. One day, Jesus led three of his disciples, Peter, James, and John, up on a mountain to pray. The disciples fell fast asleep. <gasps> they were tired. As Jesus was praying, his appearance suddenly changed. His 
face was shining like the sun, and his clouds, his clothes were as white as the light. The disciples woke up and saw Moses and Elijah talking with Jesus. Peter said, Lord, it is good for us to be here. If you want, I will set up three tents here. One for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. While Peter was still speaking, a bright cloud suddenly covered them. A voice from the cloud said, This is my beloved son with whom I am well pleased. Listen to him. The disciples heard this and fell face down. They were terrified. Jesus came up and touched them. Get up. He said, don't be afraid. When the disciples looked up, they did not see Moses or Elijah. Anymore, they only saw Jesus. As they were coming down the mountain, Jesus said to them, Don't tell anyone what you saw until the Son of Man is raised from the dead. The disciples did not understand. They, they did not tell anyone, but they wondered what Jesus meant. They asked him, Why do the scribes say that Elijah must come before the Messiah comes? Jesus explained that Elijah had come. That is, a prophet like Elijah had come. The people did not recognize him as a prophet, and they mistreated him. Jesus said, in the same way, the Son of Man is going to suffer at their hands. Then the disciples realized Jesus was talking about John the Baptist. Jesus showed his glory to Peter, James, and John. From the book of uh, Mark, Mark wrote that Jesus' clothing was whiter than any person could get them, so no matter how he or she washed them. From the Gospel of Matthew, Matthew explained that Jesus' face shone like the sun. It would have been an incredible sight. Jesus' glory is brighter and intense, but it's more than just the light. Jesus' glory is sort of like a, a combination of many different wonderful things about him. His glory is the intense of his goodness. It is the depth of his love. It is the fullness of his holiness. It is the height of his fame. It is the length of his endlessness. It is the majesty of his power. Jesus is the greatest treasure in the world. Amen. Jesus is more than a good man or a wise teacher. He is God, the Son. The Bible tells us he is the King of kings. All things were created by him and for him. Without him, all the creation could no longer exist. When Peter, James, and John saw Jesus in his glory, they saw who Jesus really is more clearly than they ever had before. Jesus showed his glory to Peter, James, and John. Jesus said, he would die, rise from the dead, and return to heaven. One day, Jesus will come back to earth in his glory. 
Today's scripture says Jesus showed his glory to disciples, but it will not be the last time humans see Jesus in glory. When Jesus returns to earth wearing bright white clothing and shining brighter than the sun, he will destroy all evil and fix every wrong in the world. Everyone who has faith in Jesus will receive new glorified bodies to live forever with God. Amen. Let's read today's key passage, Psalm chapter 40, verse 5. You have multiplied, O Lord my God, your wondrous deeds and your thoughts toward us. None can compare with you. I will proclaim and tell of them. Yet, they are more than can be told. 여호와 나의 하나님이여, 주께서 행하신 기적이 많고 우리를 향하신 주의 생각이 많아 누구도 주와 견줄 수가 없나이다. 내가 널리 알려 말하고자 하니 너무 많아 그 수를 셀 수도 없나이다. 아멘. This key passage helps us to think about God. His plans and actions are perfect and righteous. We can praise Him for doing what is best. Amen. Jesus loves us just as we are. But when we have faith in Him, He does not leave us the way we are. Instead, He changes us to be more and more like Him. Someday, He will return and give us glorified bodies to live with Him forever. Let's follow Jesus' footsteps and pray until we get glorified. Amen. Let's read Christ's connection together. Jesus showed his glory to Peter, James, and John. Jesus said he would die, rise from the dead, and return to heaven. One day, Jesus will come back to earth in his glory to make all things new. Amen. Okay, let's all pray together. Heavenly Father, thank you for giving us an opportunity to learn about your word. Lord, we have learned that Jesus prayed and his appearance changed and even his clothes became brighter. We want to be like Jesus. Lord, help us glorify you. Please forgive all our sins and fill us with your Holy Spirit. Give us wisdom to obey and courage to tell others about you. We know that we can only imagine how wonderful you are. Help us live in hope for the time when Jesus will return to fix everything wrong. Let us live every day to follow your examples and pray. Lord, thank you for protecting us and helping us during this quarantine. Lord, let us trust you and follow you. Please use us so that we can be the light in our family, Yongnak Church, and wherever we are. Lord, we love you and we thank you. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, at this time, boys and girls, let's bring our offering and bring our hearts to Jesus.
offering. Heavenly Father, thank you for teaching us about the transfiguration of Jesus. Lord, please let us follow Jesus' footsteps. And Lord, please let us always glorify you. Lord, at this time, we would like to uh, bring this offering with our hearts. Lord, please bless the hands who brings the offering and bless this offering so that these offerings may be used for your glory. Lord God, use it wherever your uh, children needs to hear the gospel. Lord, bring those souls to you so your kingdom may be expanded through this offering. Lord, we love you and we thank you. We pray all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, boys and girls, at this time, we'll recite the Lord's Prayer. One of our friends will recite, and please recite along with our friends. And please keep safe and be healthy. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Let's pray for the... Let's pray the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and give us for our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all the evil one. For yours is the kingdom, power, and glory forever and ever. Amen.